guys. <laughs> I'm uh, doing a little warm up run here. Head up to Blue Lakes and uh, just trying to get some altitude, altitude in here so I can get more acclimatized to the elevation. So this has been a real steep first section of it. And now kind of flattened out here. I'm going to another step, another steep section for another couple of miles. But uh, just want to show you guys this area. Um, yesterday we did um, the Via Ferrata down in Uray. Unfortunately, we dropped the GoPro, had a little mishap. And so I'm done my older GoPro. So there might be a lot more jostling because I don't have stabilization on this GoPro. So if anybody um, is up there in the Box Canyon in Ure, you find a GoPro down there, it's a really nice one, Hero 10. Um, let's see, I got some pictures from that. So I'll post those here in just a second. You guys can take some pictures from that uh, experience. Unfortunately, I had no video because that's all down the bottom of the creek down there. So anyway, just a kind of a little flat section here. And uh, I'll film a little bit more in just a little bit. Talk to you in a sec.
just over 12,500 feet heading up to uh, Upper Blue Lake right now. So just past Timberline and that's 12,500 feet here in Colorado. And uh, yeah, I'm feeling this for sure. But uh, doing good. And I will talk to you in a second if I get to my breath. <laughs> Blue Lake, and I'm gonna probably turn out here. I was thinking about riding up to the saddle, which goes up to Mount Sniffles, but um, yeah, Alec and Stacy and Gregor, they're probably heading back down in the car now, so I don't want to make them wait too long. That's my excuse. Um, but anyway, great day. I feel pretty good. Um, a little winded on the uphills, um, but I guess that's to be expected. And um, yeah, I think this has definitely been a big help coming up here and running and uh, power hiking, as it were. But uh, head on back down to the car now. So let me, I'll do some more videos heading back down. I'm getting low on my battery life here, but I'll try to film as much as I can and show you the scenery. All right, talk to you in a bit. I was up here, I was with my sister. We got here, here kind of late in the afternoon. That's actually kind of a funny story anyway, but we were, well, I just want to tell it. So my, my grandmother passed away. She was 101. And we came up here to uh, spread her ashes up, up over at Blue Lakes. And we got up here and we're like, ah, all right. You have the ashes? And she's like, I thought you had them. So we had forgot them in the car. And, uh, so I told her, well, me and Stacy will be back up here in a month and we're gonna, we'll come up and spread them in. So we told her, the rest of our family that we had spread them already. But uh, me and Stacy came up a month later, we're halfway up the trail, and she's like, you got the ashes, right? And I'm like, oh, crap. So I turned around, she kept walking, and I ran back down to the car and forgot him. Came up. So we spread my grandmother, <laughs> grandmother's ashes up here, along with my dad's too. Um, but last time me and my sister were up here, Got here late in the afternoon, and uh, back over here we had a picnic. Just a snack to eat, and uh, the storm clouds are rolling in, and so we were booking it down this trail because the, the thunder was just clapping right above our heads. It was scary, but it was a fun run. And uh, another little secret on that trail run. Is I'd always been faster than my sister, but on that day I was ahead of her and she was right on my tail the whole time. And uh, we get past Blue Lakes and she's like, Here, let me go around you. And when she took off, I couldn't keep up with her. And I remember thinking, Well, she's now the fastest one in her family now. And that was kind of humbling, like seeing her little sister now taking the reins. She's uh, yeah, she's badass on running. Done three Boston marathons, and yeah, she's always placed in her age group and all that. But anyway, that's the story of Upper Blue Lake for me. Talk to you in a sec. Yeah, so that my GoPro died right after that shot. So I uh, just want to do a re quick recap on what I did that day. So that run was five days before the Imogene Pass run. And I ran, ended up running 10 miles and um, 
had about 1,200 feet of elevation gain. And uh, that felt pretty good. Um, I had a couple people on the trail that stopped me and, and asked if I was from around there. And uh, I told them, like, no, I live in Dallas now. So I did, you know, told them I did grow up there. So I don't really have a problem with, typically have a problem with elevation. So they were, that made me feel pretty, uh, pretty good. Um, gave me a little bit more confidence uh, going into the race. Um, I did, of course, have some doubts again. Like I was thinking, like, well, I only did 2,400 feet of elevation gain. I only ran 10 miles and um, thinking I had to do another 2400 because we had 5,000 feet of elevation gain for the race. So that was a little disheartening um, there, but um, the run felt pretty good. Unfortunately, the um, the kind of cool thing about that run is on the way down, there's a, uh, uh, there's a couple people that stopped and there, there was a bear and I just caught the tail end of it. He was just starting to run up into the trees. Um, I've only seen five bears in the wild in Colorado and um, I don't know if I count that one as a as a viewing got to see his tail end but that's still pretty cool we should have my GoPro on um, but live and learn uh, again I don't know if you caught that I me and my friend Greg were doing the Via Ferrata in Uray and I handed him uh, the GoPro to do some filming and um, he went around a corner and just dropped it um, fell down <laughs> all the way down to the creek I heard a kerplunk and I look over at him, he had this look of horror on his face and we tried to grab it. He he unclipped and, which I didn't really think he should do that, but he unclipped and went down to the creek and he's like, I, I don't think I'm gonna be able to get it out of there. So hopefully uh, we can, I'm gonna see if we can find somebody who can go up there and maybe try to get it back. But if you're watching this and you see it, find it, um, just send me the, send me the SD card, that'd be great. Um, what else? Well, I think, yeah, that's pretty much all I did. Um, Workout wise, I didn't take uh, again. That, that this run was five days before uh, the race, and I didn't want to do too much. And um, again, I've been having a whole lot of self doubt, thinking, I oh, just wonder if I could do this, and I wanted to have a decent time in the race. And um, you know, it's been you know, coming off of injuries. I, I was told by my doctor that I'll never run again because I went with a broken ankle. And uh, so just being able to do this is pretty exciting to get back and and feeling that like uncertainty if I'm going to be able to finish it or not broken ankle, I have a torn labrum in my hip, um, broken arm, rotator cuff surgery, torn by bicep. It was just been, it's been eight years of just hell trying to get back into shape and, and stay healthy. So I need to be thankful for that for sure. And, um, yeah, so it was, uh, you know, five days before I've been really, I was really anxious and wasn't talking too much. I wasn't filming too much just because I was just, you know, had a lot of nerves. So, um, but anyway, that's kind of a wrap up for this video this week. I will, the next video I post will be about the race and um, get that posted here probably next couple of days. But that's, uh, if you have any questions about the run, um, feel free to hit me up on that. Again, I was just doing a kind of a nice, easy trail run. Um, oddly enough, I did hit some PRs on that trail run because uh, we, that's not too far from where I grew up. And um, we've, we spread my, my dad's and my grandmother's ashes up there after they passed away. So kind of a special place for us. It's always, uh, it's like going back and seeing a friend uh, for sure. And plus all my high school friends, Greg and everybody that we got to see while we're up there. It's always good seeing everybody in, in the hometown and seeing how much it's grown since I left. But uh, anyway, I appreciate you guys watching that. If you don't mind, give it a thumbs up and uh, subscribe if you don't mind. And you guys have a great week. We'll talk to you later on.